Welcome to KGB Plays, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Let's get started. Ludmila was growing bored. The tourist area seemed like a pipe dream now. The construction had been halted. The new CO area was, CO area was still a priority and was using all the resources. She understood, but it didn't make it make the wait any easier. I need something to do, she thought. Hmm. I should talk to Clarence about organizing fundraisers for the orphans. It'll keep me occupied and is a worthwhile way to spend my time. Yes, she said. I'll talk to him before lunch with Ulyov. Ludmila showed up at the office a little early. Ulyov was a little surprised. Is it, is it lunchtime already, he asked. Not quite, she replied. I'm going to talk to Clarence about organizing fundraisers for the orphans. I have time and it's a good cause. I have a number of ideas. Some of them might even be doable, she laughed. Wonderful idea, my love. Swing by after your meeting. I can break away from logistics planning any time. You almost put me to sleep twice this morning, Ulyov chuckled. Lud Ludmila knocked on Clarence's door. She heard him say, come in. She entered and thanked Clarence for taking the time to speak with her. If I may, she began. I would like to get involved in planning your football club's fundraisers, Clarence. He was usually a little more adept at working things like this into the conversation, but... Clarence wasn't one for small talk and thought it best to get to the point. Well, that would be wonderful, Ludmila, Clarence said. We've been trying to get one planned, but we're all so busy with work, we've really only settled on a date. Excellent. When is it? Lud Ludmila asked. Next weekend, Clarence said, somewhat embarrassed. Next weekend? Oh my, what have you lined up? Lud Ludmila asked with a worried look on her face. We've booked the stadium and arranged for a match with our rivals again. I think we can beat them this time. That's about it, Clarence conceded. Hmm, let me see if I can help ensure victory. I'm not sure he's available, but Igor Akinfiev and I went to grade school together and have kept in touch. They're between seasons, so the timing might work. I'll talk to Igor and see if he's available. We'll also need to get some advertising organized too. Ludmila went back to Ulyov's office and said, Can we order in, love? I have some work to do that can't wait. All the pieces fell into place. Igor was indeed available and graciously accepted the invitation. Ludmila got Kristoff and Kailinka involved, working the front gate as ticket takers and sponsors. Ulyov even got to play for the last 10 minutes of the game. He almost scored an own goal. Igor handled the errant pass back, even though it looked like it might slip past him. He got up after diving for the ball and shouted at Ulyov, Nice pass! Another record for attendance was set, and with Kristoff and Kailinka's sponsorship, they raised over 100,000 rubles. A great success for the orphans. Hi, Cheeb here. Welcome back. Um, got a couple of hopes and, and dreams for this one. Uh, first one being getting the uh, Metro... Metro work dealt with. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not, but that would be really cool if it, if it did. Uh, the next one's going to be this ship getting it finished off. We're down to about 12,000 days. So depending on how long the episode goes and how, how, how big of a time lapse we do, we'll, uh, we'll get hopefully get that sorted. Um, if it's looking like it's probably not going to happen, what I'll do is take some of Frankie's advice and the ship that's uh, taken the bitumen out. Uh, actually, we're, we're, there is some bitumen down here. Not anywhere near what it needs. <clears throat> it is getting produced, so that's, that's good that way. We've had some fuel get taken out, obviously, so we are, we are producing. Not, uh, not with a great number of workers. Hopefully that changes after the the whole metro scenario sorted out um but i'll keep an eye on it and uh, see if that uh, that's something that uh, that we can uh, we can get sorted uh i had a question about uh, my mod list um i've got <laughs> 101 mods i just certainly don't use all of them mostly uh, monuments uh buildings uh buildings being uh, residences and uh a few other other uh, key things that I use. Um, I've downloaded a bunch and had all good intentions of using most of them, uh, and I've, I've probably maybe used about half of them. 
things that I find more quality of life kind of things, and then some cool buildings that uh, that I see on the workshop. So um, I do have a number of mods. They certainly aren't all used, but uh, that's uh, a quick look at, at, at what I have for mods. Um, back to the never-ending construction of our CO area. Oh, nope, not quite. This gas station to get. I thought I had assigned. Oh, we're working on that. Well. Yes. <laughs> it's now, I remember now. It's, it's, yeah, we should be able to get some uh, some buses with people in delivered here to, uh, to finish this off. And then we can start on the gas station. Or, yeah, the gas station. Because of my lack of foresight with these construction offices not having uh, fuel tanks so that's uh, <laughs> more more dense in the forehead from stepping on the rake so anyway that's what it is we've almost got everything completed here i've got the uh, helicopter co area working on the last few uh, bits and pieces um we'll need this at some point but it's really only going to be necessary once we get all the storages and everything else over here here built up so i don't want to overload the uh, <clears throat> the uh, helicopter co we've only got three percent unemployment so that's uh that's definitely a consideration so uh need to uh need to just kind of plot plot our way along and hopefully like i said this uh continues continues and we can get uh, everything here sorted so i believe i've got electrical electronic components and mechanical components on their way and uh, eventually we'll have uh, some uh, cement here as well uh, it's just taking a little bit of time don't know that I actually pointed it out last time you might have seen it in the time lapse where I changed around the uh, the amount to uh, for this building we've got the train sitting here here filling up six more tons and we should be good to go we're just using trucks to, uh, to shuttle the cement back and forth. So got our uh, production facility here and there's, there's definitely cement in here. And I changed the distribution of that to be 10% uh, instead of, I think it was the 30% that I had uh, done originally. So that was another little tweak to try to get more, more over here. And there we go. So we'll have cement shortly. That's good. And uh, we're continuing on with our construction of the rail out uh, towards the aluminum area. And uh, our metro is, is, is chugging along nicely. So that's, uh, that's definitely, it's all definitely happening. So we're, we're getting there. Just gonna go have a quick look and see how far we've we've come with uh, with our rail. Okay, cool. You know that's the four of them on their way, and uh, that's uh, quite a. I'm gonna turn this one off. Quite a long <laughs> stretch to be worked on, but. That's cool. That's where I wanted them to go. Um, probably, can probably. Do we have someone on their way? Nope. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shut that one down, and just in anticipation of our getting the metro dealt with, what I'm gonna do is is uh, get this uh, these two sections, well, these sections built. So. Um, I've got one available, so I'll uh, I'll get that started now because we're not going to get any metros, uh, metro trains onto the tracks until uh, we have access to those tracks. So that's what uh, this this section is here. So. All right, um, I think I'm going to slip into a time lapse, uh, a little bit of a cheap way out but we're we're i'm not willing to plan anything else at this point we've got enough on the plate and 
I'm going to run out of things to say so we can let the time lapse run and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Cheers.
right, I'm back. Another step closer. Got both of these built. So we can get uh, <clears throat> metro trains on the track. And we've got the, the first main section done. Get one more little piece dealt with. And then hopefully we can get that. To, there's three sections there, unfortunately. I suppose I could redo that, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. Um, yeah, so definitely progress there. Um, I haven't gone and looked at the CO area for a bit, and I'm hoping we got a fuel station. Yes, we do, good. Get this set up, and then hopefully get the ground guys here, assign some work. I'll just give fuel trucks a bit of a head start so that we can uh, fuel in there and the fuel guys don't uh, <laughs> head off somewhere we don't want them to go. Helicopters making quick work of all this stuff. It's nice to see. Helicopter one is three, right? Yeah. Two's pretty much done here. I'm going to probably leave the rest of this to the helicopter and the local CO guys once I get everything else dealt with. And there's our first fuel truck. Ready to load this up. Yeah, that'll take them a bit. And yeah, I'm just gonna wait till the first load gets in. Then when I assign these guys some work, might be a momentous occasion. It's gonna get them to do the all the gravel, gravel roads in here uh, to begin with until we can get the ash, asphalt uh, plant and the concrete plant up and running and then uh, get the helicopter COs okay we've got fuel there now good did I yes you have a gravel assigned that one this one it take them no time to get Get dealt with just gonna run this through to uh, get the uh, just make sure the first uh, excuse me words and sentences uh, get the first uh, guys on the road to uh, getting uh, roads built and it looks like we're uh, they're on their way over to pick up Gravel. Did I not build a gravel loading station here? Doesn't appear that I did. Mind you, we don't need it. <laughs> this is interim, yes. Yeah, the gravel loading station will be over here once all that's dealt with, so. Like I said, just want to see where we get to with Having the uh, the gravel working the way I want it to. They don't need people right now. That's probably going to be a next episode kind of thing. Getting the, the shuttles working over here. Um, just make sure I'm at where I want to be. Yeah, it certainly takes them a while to uh, to get loaded. It's gonna be a bit. It will be a bit. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly go over some of the other stuff that I was messing around with. We got our fuel ship going, and I'm gonna started building another uh, ore carrier. What I want that one to do is take care of some more uh, more coal, and uh, 
Looks like the fuel ship is working the way I expected it to, or hoped it would, is what I should say. Not expected. I'm going to change the color of this one again, because I don't really want it to be the same. So I'm not, I can't remember how many skins there are on this one. I'm not sure if that's different or not. Let's try... Yeah, that's the same as the other one. Okay, so this has got the blue mast on the back. Okay, so the blue mast is the one with the... <coughs> carrying the fuel. The expensive fuel. And it's getting pumped in as quickly as we can. Interesting that it's just feeding straight through. Don't really show the fuel dropping down. This isn't going to fill up, is it? Not while the ship's there, but we are definitely lower. All right, I'll be uh, wrapping this up. And, uh, oh yeah, the other thing that I wanted to talk about. So we had this, this, the, the seven pump jacks that are feeding this are certainly not enough for the, to at least make a reasonable amount of time. So I planned another little feeder system the only place i could find in without taking stuff apart or whatever was was this one here so we'll get uh, the uh, actually maybe i can sign that right now get them building the first part of this and one last quick little thing that i wanted to go over here because it was sort of Came out of the blue but it's getting in pre preparation for uh, rerouting the uh, the passenger line here so we needed access into the back side of this and actually found a way that'll still give access to the current line and then i can switch it over to go from this side and, and get get rid of this side connect that back in and we should be good to go um what that does is take the materials off this side and then allows me to split this off so I can run a double rail up, up this side. So anyway, um, thanks for sticking it out with me. Uh, been a kind of a long uh, episode just in terms of how long the uh, time lapse went, but we're uh, definitely making progress. And again, thanks for sticking it out with me. We'll catch you on the other side. Actually, next episode, probably. Cheers.